What is up guys and gals? Welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the Google Pixel 3. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to check the IMEI or the ESN number on the Google Pixel 3 to see if the device has been reported lost or stolen. So first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and find the IMEI number uh, on some of the older smartphone devices that are written somewhere on the back. What I strongly recommend is going into the actual device itself and checking it there just because cases and, and um, body the phone bodies are changed around, but it's hard to, whatever's inside internally is what's gonna be reported lost or stolen. So this is the way I always check mine. I'm going into your settings app, which is the little key. If you have this screen, it's the little uh, gear looking thing. Go ahead and select that. And then once you have that, your screen will look like this. Scroll down to the very bottom, you will see systems. Go ahead and select that. And then once you're here, about phone is the very top one. You will see a bunch of different things. Scroll down uh, about midway up on this list. You will see IMEI. Go ahead and select that. And just like that, it gives you your IMEI number. What you do now is if you have another device or a phone, uh, another phone or a computer, I go to, I just Google free ESN check. And then there is the Swappa version or the check ESNfree.com. Either one works good. Um, I just use the check esnfree.com and then here it's going to ask you to select the carrier. Uh, let's, my carrier that I'm using is Verizon. So I'm going to select that and then you type your number in here. Um, I've already typed my number in so it has saved it. So just like that I'm going to go ahead and select my number and Verizon and that and I'm going to go ahead and select submit. And it just takes a few uh, seconds to run its tests and um, give you the results. And it's going to either tell you if it's lost, stolen, if it's um, passed. So as we can see here, it's the sources through Verizon, the IMEI number is there, Google Pixel 3, 64 gig in just black, and the result is it passed. So this device passed, and that's exactly what it is, 64 gig um, Pixel 3, and just like that it passed. If there's any other, uh, anything else that says anything besides passed, I would definitely give that carrier a call. So if it's through Verizon, I would give your local Verizon branch a call and say, hey, I'm looking to buy a used device if it's either online or um, in, in private um, and the device for whatever reason is coming up with a check check setting or whatever it might be um, and they will be able to dig into that and find more information on it to see if it had been reported lost or stolen previously or if there's got an unpaid balance on the phone um, anything like that so if you're unsure definitely 100 percent call to the carrier, whoever it is, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, whoever it might be, I would give them a call, figure out what's going on before spending money on smartphones, especially with the crazy amount of money they cost nowadays. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. And if you guys would like to see other helpful tips and tricks on the Google Pixel 3, go ahead and check out that playlist in the description below. And if this video was helpful, if you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.